Hey folks, it's Far Reads Warren C. Just got out of work. Pretty long day, can't complain. Um, I feel like doing something today. I think um, what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead. I've been meaning to get in that engine. It's already dark. Uh, I don't want to make too much, too, many, too much noise breaking in the uh, Team Associated MGT, which I think I, it turns out, check this out, folks. Um, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll find it eventually. I'll, I'll write down. I, I, I got a, I never noticed that with that car, it was in my, my, em, my little envelope holder right there, filled with manual, well, all the manuals or basically all the vehicles that I have. <clears throat> Turns out I had a I have a catalog for that where it shows you all the parts and, and like you can like add ons and all that which is pretty cool it's pretty um, vintage I'm gonna see if I could get that one of these days and we could check it out together so um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna break into that um, that um, HPI Savage engine how about that so let me go ahead and set you guys up and um, I'll go real quick. Uh, I'm wearing my hoodie because basement is pretty cold today. I left the heater off, so yeah. Electric bill is pretty high. All right. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. There's the HPI. Um, I haven't done nothing with it since the last time I made a video on it. So I have not done anything. I have not touched nothing on this thing. It, 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 it arrived the way it arrived. I got all the extra parts for it, and I put it on the, uh, left it on the floor next to the uh, Team Associated, and uh, that was it with this. So, I'm going to go in this thing. Um, let me show you guys something. I, I, I showed something not so long ago, something special. I think it's special. Um, I think it's special. Um... Real quick, uh, there's another one we're going to talk about in the future. This is my, uh, I found out more information on this thing. Um, I actually forgot what it was. And I'm like, wait a minute, I know I wrote down what it was. This is my Capricorn Lab CO2 on-road nitro car. All right, with, um, I'm not going to go too much into detail with this bad boy right here. This is... This is serious stuff. This is no joke. With a Pico Edo X modified torque engine. 0.12. Alright. Alright. So we're going to talk about this in in later later on videos. I had to work on it and well, I got it a while ago. And uh it was missing it was missing a a bearing in the wheels because these things use C clips. To hold the um yeah so sorry about that guys got a call so yeah like i was saying so this thing we're going to be talking about this um later on in later on um videos this only had one issue which was the the hex the, uh, the this, these are 12 millimeter hex um it was completely coming off with the um shaft itself these things are this thing this chassis is different it's not like any other chassis these use um, C clips to hold the the hex to to the um, the um, C hubs right here to the hub. So that's what that. It's weird. It's weird, but it's tell you what, guys. It's a beautiful chassis, carbon fiber, red um, aluminum parts. Real beautiful. We're gonna talk about this in the future. Serious stuff. Um, that's no, uh, it's definitely, you know, when it comes to those cars, guys, when it comes to those cars, I'll tell you what, big difference to RTR. These, those things are for more serious RC guys. I mean, I, I, even for me, those things are too much for me to be honest. I really, I'm not going to race those things, but it, they're, they're pretty amazing. So let's get back to this. So we're going to go ahead and. I'm going to get this engine out, get all this stuff out, and trust me, guys, you are not going to have to wait for me to do that. I'm going to do fast lap real quick. Uh, I'm sure that everybody has a savage. I'm sure every RC enthusiast, 
Ah, that word, it cannot come out, has a savage. So you already know how to take all this off. I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and, uh, yeah, take this off. Um, yeah, it looks uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, cool. This is, um, I guess this whole thing needs to come out. Right here and right here. All right, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All right, guys. So it took me a little bit to figure out this. I, I figured out I didn't have to go too crazy with it. Uh -huh. I'm thinking I had to take out the whole brace, but I could. I was able to move it around and manage to get it out the way and here it is folks this thing hold on let me get it let me get the lights on for this thing. hold on guys so you can see this real quick like i said oops um it's a dirty it's a dirty truck it was used of course so yeah so what i'm gonna do guys i really want to get in here and try to see how bad this thing is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead real quick, guys. And I'm going to clean this thing up before we start working on it. Because uh, it is a complete mess. So we're going to take this uh, these guys out real quick. Because um, I... Yeah, it's she's pretty dirty. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and clean this thing up real quick. And... Uh, Let's see what we're looking at. Um, that pipe is definitely not going to stay on this truck. All right. We're going to go ahead and get this thing cleaned up real quick, guys. I want to see how this thing is looking. And I want to bring you guys. That's an eight, oh, 18. Look at that. Um, let me see if you guys can see that. That's an 18 tooth um, clutch bell. Look at that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and clean this thing up real quick. Uh, I'm going to keep the um, carb on it. Um, and man. Uh, yeah, this thing, this filter, I don't know if it's any good. It looks like it still is good. I think, uh, I think it's still good. It's not that bad. I'm going to go ahead. We'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and clean this guy out, all right? And we're back, guys. Got her cleaned up. A little bit more decent. Uh, you know what I mean? Looks decent to work on now. Um, let me go ahead. And uh, we're going to go ahead. And we're going to break into that engine. And see what we're looking at. See how bad is the uh, situation, right? Uh, let me get comfortable here so you know I'm gonna go ahead and put the chassis this chassis needs some serious cleaning so I'm gonna leave it right here until I'm able to clean it up I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some serious cleaning on that chassis so let's go ahead get you guys up close and personal to it all right all right so close and personal Okay, now, okay, all right, so let me get comfortable, guys. So we're going to look into this thing. We're going to go ahead, we're going to crank her up, we're going to take her apart. I want to see what's going on with this, uh, uh, Yeah, I'm not going to use gloves because somebody put a comment there why I, I, I work with gloves. It's to keep my hands clean and not to touch, um, especially if it's a nice engine that I know I want to take care of, uh, I'll put gloves on. But this one is not that great, so we're going to go ahead and uh, see what we're looking at here. What are we looking at? All right, so let's see this. This has got to be a... See the 
two millimeter, I think. Oh no, well, I grabbed the wrong one. Where the hell is that? Here we go. <laughs> grabbed the wrong one. All right, pretty loose. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead. I want you guys to see what I saw. Just a glimpse of what I saw. Now, I haven't cleaned. Oh, look at that. I think I could fix that. That, that could be fixed. I ain't worried about that. You guys. All right. I want you guys to see what I saw. You know what I mean? Because what I saw is probably... I don't know what this guy was running. Um, he was definitely running uh, either too lean or some cheap fuel because wow you guys see what i mean from what i saw i like the opening of this that's pretty neat never seen uh one of these this era hpi engines check this out guys look at that have you ever seen that much carbon buildup on any engine like on this one <laughs> look at that don't mind a little bit of water that was me cleaning her up because i was going to clean these parts in anyways i was going to clean them up look at that guys holy moly that is bad that is huge that is super that is a lot of carbon buildup okay so Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead. Cause I mean, if anything, guess what? I'll have a paperweight here. Collectors, co collectors um, engine right here. Even though it's not going to run or anything like that, but it'll be a uh, collector. I like the head. The head looks pretty cool. Real lightweight. I like it. Does need some more cleaning. We'll clean her up. I think I could fix this. Let me see, guys. Let me see what I can do for this right here. I think I can. Because it's not really a. There you go. It's not really a heavy type of metal. Maybe I could get it fixed, the fin. There you go. Just to make it a little bit decent. You know what I mean? A little bit nicer. Why not? There you go. Looks a little bit nicer now. There you go. Doesn't it look better now? All right. So let's go ahead and take this, this thing out. It's the roll to start. Let me go ahead. These are... Let me go ahead. These are the uh, chassis screws. We're going to keep all the motor stuff here. And all the chassis stuff over there is all the motor stuff. Huh. I wonder if it's just this right here got to take off. I think it's just three screws, give or take. So I was thinking about the live guys. I uh, remember I did mention about next year making it doing a live for this year. Um, I'm still thinking about it when I'm gonna do it. I don't want to do it in a day where everybody else has live. Um, Check that out, make sure that's good. Wow, this is, uh, I'm sure this is not supposed to be this dark, is it? Is this supposed to be black? Oh yeah, it is. So, I uh, don't want to mess this up, guys. Let's make sure she's not. You know what? Uh, 
Alright, hold on. Let's take this out. The bearings feel good though. I'll tell you that, guys. No compression, but the bearings do feel good. Alright. Let me go ahead and take this off real quick. Let me take out the the first. Let me take out the uh clutch. Where's the, I think, okay, I got one there that might work. All right. Look, um, it's not the perfect way to do it, but it works. I see it like that. It works, all right? It's not the perfect way to do it, but it works, okay? <laughs> you see? No damage done to it. Nothing happened. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to do any more than what the previous owner did to it. Trust me, guys. I'll check all this. All this stuff out. Eventually, I'll look into the... Well, look at that. Look at that. Hmm? All right, it looks good. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. All right. Cool. Looks good. Looks legit. Need some maintenance done to it, though, because I could tell it. I need some maintenance. Yeah, bearings. Need a new bearing for it. That bearing's shot. So, I don't know. If that's going to be any good in the, uh, in the future. But we'll figure it out. Two. All right. Flywheel looks good. I could get something, some use out of this flywheel. I definitely put it on a different engine. It looks good. It looks decent. You could tell. Right here, you see that? Yeah, those bearings are shot. I mean, the shield came off of it. So you know those bearings are no good. That's it. Those bearings are completely shot. Right, let me see. Get this thing out. All right. Like I said I wanted to assemble this whole, this whole engine, guys. I want to see how bad this thing is. So yeah. You could get you, you could use all this in a different engine. Uh, 
Okay, that's not coming off. Let's see. Let's see if this bad boy is going to help me out today. Sometimes it does work. Sometimes it doesn't work. It all depends with this thing. Hold on. It's a little hoodie flywheel puller. Bought this. Pretty cool. Well worth the money. It's not that expensive. I think it was like what? 20 bucks or something like that? Or 30? I want to get the clutch installer. The clutch you installer? That thing's expensive though. But I will get it eventually. Mm-mm. Does not want to do it. Hold on. Does not want to do it, folks. All right, let's, I'm going to have to do it a little bit more now. I want to do it this way now. Wow. It is stuck in there. Folks, it, it is stuck in there. Does not want to come out. Let me see. What the? There you go. Woo, buddy. She was stuck in there. It did not want to come off. Wow. You could tell this thing was in there pretty, pretty for a long time. All right. Flower looks okay. Flower looks okay, guys. All right. Okay. Feels slush. Slushy. It does feel slushy, guys. Let's get the collet out. And the idea is to see how bad this thing is. Okay. All right. Okay. So we got this out. Let's go ahead and... Uh, get this ah damn it that's gonna be a problem guys these are stripped ah damn it I hate when these ah this is pain. this is gonna be a pain in the ass they're stripped I'm gonna have to heat them up hold on I think we can make it happen hold on we can make it happen hold on I think I can make it happen before it gets any 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 worse than what it is. I think I can make it happen, guys. I'm gonna heat her up real quick before I start making it worse. You can already tell they put Loctite on that crap. I don't know why people put Loctite in the back. Okay, I'll be right back. And we're back, folks. For the love of God, please do not do this. Don't put all this Loctite on these screws. They don't need Loctite. There's no need to do that to your, your, your back plate people. There's no need for that. Oh, my God. All right, let's get back at this. Jesus. I was lucky enough that I had good screws to get that out. Because if not, I would have been screwed. Jesus. Alright. Oh my god. I had good drill bits, could not uh, screw bits if not. That would have been uh an issue right there. I mean, I probably would have called it a day and said screw it. Can't do nothing with the engine. But yeah, for the love of God, folks, there's no need to put that much Loctite on the on the engine. No need for that. This thing always always heating up. It's still gonna end up getting loose. Alright, let's get this thing out. Okay. All right. She is hot and she should be able to. There you go. I don't know if this is an interference or not, but um, let's go ahead and uh, let's get this thing out. 
All right. Like I said, it's a little bit of water in there. I ain't worried about it. I'll clean her up and make sure everything is oiled up before I... If this is a usable engine, I'll make sure she's cleaned up and um, oiled up. Look at that. Dirty, dirty, dirty engine. Wow. Did he use... Yeah, he used seal on this thing by the looks of it. Um, looks like the... I mean, it looks like it's still good. We'll clean that up eventually. I think, uh, I think it's still good. Mm -hmm. These are all good parts. All they all need some little bit of cleaning. We'll clean them up and get all these screws. These unbelievable. Good thing I got backplate screws if I need them. Uh, I got back plate screws. That's the good thing. All right, so. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. The bearings do feel smooth, that's for sure. They do feel smooth. I know it's not a good idea to use old, the bearings if they're old, but I ain't going to lie, guys. I don't want to put too much money on this engine. Uh, let's get the sleeve out. I'm going to use the same, same little sucker right here. Use the same little thing right here. The same, um. Uh, hold on. What was that? Oh. Wow, it's, uh, how many of these shims are they? Alright, hold on guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this temporarily until I came, I forgot that I do want to take out the, uh, install this temporarily. Uh, so I'm able to get this thing in there real quick. Real quick, I ain't gonna tighten it up real quick. It's just gonna be a little quick little. Alright. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this sleeve out. I'm hoping I could. Now, I'll, I'll heat it up if I have to. We'll heat it up again. Let's see. Oh, okay. She's came, she came out. She's coming out. Alright. Okay, let me see if we can gently take her out. Huh. Not want to come off that way. All right, well. Let's get this thing off. Let's see if we can get this thing hot enough to get out. I like the color combination, the purple and the um, black. Pretty sweet. I like the color combination, that's for sure. Do not want to lose this little pin. I know where that goes. <laughs> I don't deal with too much um, post starters or roto start engines, but I do know that's important. There you go. I ain't going to worry about, you know, it's kind of like almost, it's hard not to damage these things. You try not to. I try not to damage these things. I really do, guys. I got try not to damage him. We 
is the engine is as beat up as it is. It ain't gonna hurt it any more than what it is, like I said. But you know, if I can avoid not hurting it anymore. Ooh, she's hot. Yeah, she's not trying to come out. Alright. So it's already. Mm. Trying to see if we could. How are we going to do this? Because I don't want to damage this. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. And we're back. <laughs> Still trying to get this thing out. We almost got it. There you go. Jesus Lord, I was a pain in the ass to get out. Oh, look at this. It has fangs on it. Um, Tell me, guys, is... is that's how the, these normally come. Um, I don't know much about this engine. I wonder if that's how they normally come. At this time? Cool. All right. Let's get this piston out. And let's see what we're looking at here, guys. I'm interested to see if this thing has life. Let's see what we're looking at here. Uh, once I clean her up, I think she'll be okay. We'll do 301, W30 on this. Then it'll rust up. Once I get it cleaned up. Alright, let me uh, see the... Alright, so... It looks okay. Look at that. No scratches. Mm -hmm. Looks okay. I don't feel nothing wrong with it. It's got some rust here and there, but uh, other than that, so this is the escape. Let's see what we're looking at here, guys. All right. That right there tells me there's still life to this engine. So, I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think... I think um, we could use this. I think we could legitimate, legitimately, man, that word, uh, I don't know if it's a Latino thing. We can't really think, take that word out. All right. I think I could use this. I think I could. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of three and one in there. Lube it up real good. Because I want to see with lubrication, see what we're looking at. Because I'm would like, i interested. I want to see what this engine can do, guys. So I want to clean this engine up real nice. And I want to use it. Now, there's some stuff here that don't make any sense. See this right here? What that means? It's like red. Red markings on it. Let me see what we're looking at here now. Okay, let's go ahead. This is the... The back, I like that detail, the black. That's pretty cool. I, I, you know why? This engine is pretty sweet. I would like to, I would like to save it. Okay, we got a little bit of life to him. We got some pinch. We got some pinch. Look at that. Yeah, we definitely got some pinch. So I got, we got some life on it. We, we still got some life on it. So that's cool. All right, we got life. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's go ahead and get this guy out. See what we're doing when it comes to the crankshaft. All right. Let's get this thing out again. Remember, folks, like and subscribe. So I can keep on making more, well, I'm going to still keep on making more contact, more stuff like this. Trust me, guys. I love doing this. You know, the YouTube thing, guys, it, it, I do it for fun, man. I really do. I don't care. I mean, i seen people complain about, oh, you know, I did that one time and I'm like, ah, screw it. You know, I don't care about how many people are watching the video and not subscribing. You know what? I do this because I love it. You know what I mean? 
That's why I do it, because I love it, right? So I do it because I love it. I have no issues on doing these videos and enjoying it. And, and, and join, you know, I love to share my love to the art to the RC hobby. I love to share my love to the art, you know, of the RC hobby. And a lot of new people that would love to learn about this. And if I can help you guys out with what I know, then I will. So let's go ahead. Wow, that just came out. <laughs> that came out easy. That was no um. That wasn't that hard. That was pretty easy. Okay. I thought I was gonna, I was gonna have to slam it against the, the table, but no, she came out pretty easy. Once I oil this up, guys, the water, um, this ain't no big deal. The water is no big deal. Once I, I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna clean her up real good here. We're gonna clean her up with a rag. We're gonna go ahead three and one, um, W30 on this thing. You know what I mean? It'll be perfectly fine. Nothing is really happening to it. It won't. It, it, it won't hurt it because I'm going to go ahead and put some 3-in-1. The bearings feel super, super smooth. I know, um, I know, guys, I know you probably will, will say, oh, change the bearings. But I'm not trying to invest money on this engine, guys. I'm really not. And look, the bearings are super smooth. I mean, super smooth. Let me see something real quick. Oh, yeah, you can't even see through the bearings. They're still nice sealed. I mean, if it was bad, you would see the light coming through here. Nothing. Literally nothing. These bearings are st still got a lot of life in them. Why get rid of them, you know? I'm not trying to spend too much money on this engine, you know? I'm wanna, I want to use it the way it is. And I'm sure I could get bearings for cheap price. They sell them everywhere, let's be honest. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. Let's see what we're looking at here, guys. So, this is the, eh, all right. Okay, this is how it go, all right. Wow, unbelievable. No movement. <laughs> guys, I think I got a good engine here. No movement whatsoever. It's not, no movement. Wow, it's pretty cool. Let me see something before it gets lost. I don't want to get it lost. Hold on, guys. Because I want to clean this thing up. There's a spring there. I don't want to get lost. Mm, there you go. Let's get this spring. Let's put it in the box, in the bin right here. We're going to clean all this up. We're going to make sure everything looks legit before we put it back in here. And I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I think I lock, lock, I think I'm lucky with this thing. I think uh, I can't complain. It's pretty cool. Um, my, I think I hit a jackpot with this engine. With this engine, the, the car itself. Guys, I think I did. I did good. I think I did good. I can't complain, guys. We're going to go ahead, clean her up, and um, we're going to put her, uh, that's this way. We're going to clean up real nice. Get this thing, uh, take this thing off real quick. Mm. I like this. Feels good. Feels real good. I like it. We'll clean this up real nice. We'll clean all this up. Let's take this thing off of it. We'll clean all this up. Make sure everything is nice and lubricated. Give it a good chance to, to survive, right? All right. 
Look at that. The, this thing is nice and... All right. Okay. Well, you know what, folks? Um, I wonder what this is for. Where this came from? Oh, it's got to be from, from this itself. It's like it goes in here, I think, or something like that, or... I don't know. We'll leave it in there. I don't know what this. I've never seen that on anything. All right, guys. So, um, from what I'm seeing here, guys, this thing looks legit. Um, looks good. Looks real good. I ain't gonna lie. It looks real nice. Let's take out the bolt and the motor mount off of it real quick. You know what? Make this life a little bit easier for me. Loctites, from what I'm seeing, a lot of it. Only on one. All right. All right, the block looks good. Ah, we're going to clean it up, make it look nice. All right, guys, you already saw it. Uh, everything looks legit. The thing seems to be good. Um, yeah. Everything seems to be great. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'm going to clean this engine up. And next time you see it, it will be put together and uh, lubricated. Three and one in it and all that good stuff. So, I don't know what the hell they did here. We'll lube it up. We'll put some 3 and one in there. And uh, we'll make this look a little bit better. All right, guys. Have a good one. And remember, guys, roll anything you're rolling, anywhere you're rolling. Just enjoy it. Love it. Whether it's electric or nitro. But if it's nitro, you know it's got to be frappalicious. Brap, brap, All right, folks. Take it easy. All right, folks, this is it right here. After cleaning her up, lubing her up completely. She looks pretty beautiful. Still, I think I can get some life out of this thing. Uh, I think I could. Still has got some pinch in it. Just in case you yeah, didn't know, this is a Losi pipe. So, took away the, got rid of the plastic stuff. It was kind of like chippering off here. Like, the, it was falling apart from here. So, I said, you know what? I had this pipe here. The only one that doesn't, that, that goes in here. Um, I was going to try to put a, a, a tune pipe, a better one. But, I guess this is the only header that fits there, so. The other headers I have are too long, so I guess we could use this for now. Um, you know, it's better than what it had, which was plastic. All right, this is, for, this is it for today, guys. I'm done with this thing. Got it cleaned up. Got it looking nice, beautiful.